Hello and welcome to my video. I hope that you are uh, feel, feeling safe and well. This video today is going to be about useful words that will help us to grow personally and professionally. So let's go into it. If we really wanting to change our lives and shape our destiny, we need to consciously select words that we are using and we need to be constantly striving to expand our level of choice of words. So, to be honest, we are really shaped by our language. Words shape our beliefs and have influence on our actions. Confucius said, without knowing the force of words, it is impossible to know men. Very powerful, isn't it? Shakespeare was using words to a real benefit and for everyone that has studied Shakespeare his use of words was very spe specific and very meaningful and a guy called Michael Macron has written a book in which he is using Shakespeare's words to explain the fact that choice of those words is really really powerful so when we run a discussion with a client when we are taking part in conversation with someone using the right words is the power that cannot be ignored an english language is probably the only language in the world that is giving the opportunity to play with words because there is so many of them and let me give you some examples amazement money's word savagery association assassination to negotiate, to sneak, to champion, obscene, to squabble, cold-hearted, Olympian, stealthy, disgraceful, pageantry, to swagger, Phantomless, to pulse, time honored, hostile, invulnerable, quarrelsome, transcendence, lackluster, reliance, unearthly, madcap. Sacrificial, majestic. Did you know that words shape our beliefs and impact our actions? Words are fabric from which all the words are cut. By changing one word in a question, we can instantly change the answer. And again, let's go back to what Confucius said. Without knowing the force of the words, it is impossible to know a man. By changing our habitual words, we could 
really change the emotional patterns of our lives. We could mold actions, directions, and ultimate destinies of our lives. Words are very powerful. There is a saying that words can kill. The words that you are using and selecting will shape your destiny. So, the way we represent things in our mind determines how we feel about life. If you have no way of representing something, you can't really experience it, can you? So, vocabulary that we are using that transform our emotional experience, break unresourceful patterns and make us smile. It produces totally different feelings, changes our states, emotional states, and allow us to ask intelligent questions. So use transformational vocabulary. Be turbocharged. Let me give you an exercise. Take a piece of paper and write three words that you are currently using on a regular basis to make yourself busy, frustrated, disappointed, angry, humiliated, hurt, sad, and whatever else you can think of. Whatever words you choose, they are ones that you will regularly use to disempower yourself. So there is a question that we can ask ourselves. And this question is, what are the negative feelings I have on a consistent basis? Write those words down and really have a game. Simple as that. Put yourself in that outrageous state and brainstorm some of the new words that you have learned. And I give you a few examples. For instance, some negative words that will translate, transform itself into a positive emotion, positive thinking. So for instance, when you think, oh, I am feeling angry, transform it to, I am feeling happy, joyful, hilarious, whatever. Or I am feeling afraid. Try to change it to, I am feeling uncomfortable. Or, I am feeling anxious. How about transforming it into, I am feeling a little concerned about things. If I am anxious, I might, I might be expectant. Or, if I am confused, I am curious. Maybe I feel depressed, so I really don't feel up to it. Can you see the difference? It's the same thing that we are feeling, but when we transform it into 
a more positive expression our emotions are changing with a snap of a finger. So do look into dictionary, do look into teasers and learn words that you can embrace and change your emotions, change your feeling. This is what is great to have fun with. So when you feel better and you feel that you are more confident and change the very negative words into a more positive and change your feeling, your, your emotions at the same time, you can do another exercise. You can make a... a, a a clean piece of paper and divide it in half um, vertically and on the left hand side put yours all the words that are disempowering you and on the right hand side put all the words that are empowering okay now in order to do this exercise you can probably look into something called NAC, which is neuroassociative conditioning, okay? And this, this will help you to understand this exercise. But it actually takes two steps to do it. And the first step is that you need to make a decision that you are committed to having much more pleasure in your life than sadness. Realize that one of those things is and has kept you from having that happiness, that joy. And that was the language of emotion. So you can change that. And in step two, you can get a leverage that you will use these new words by giving yourself pleasure for committing and following through the established new pattern. So now take another clean sheet of paper and write three words that you use to describe how you are feeling or how you are doing on a regular basis that were just okay then come up with the new word, word that will inspire you. So, for instance, I am feeling alert. What word would you change into? I am feeling alert. I am feeling energized. Or, I am feeling confident. You can change that into, I am feeling unstoppable. Or, I am feeling excited about something. You can change it into, I am ecstatic. This is the difference. And can you see the change of emotion? It's like really instant change and there is so many words that you can use simply by getting into a teasers looking at a word and you will get dozens of alternative words that you can use for that emotion so use the same system of contacting your friends. Um, by the way, a story. Um, many years ago, I used to uh, take part in a, a weekly meetings with um, friends. And what we did is we played words. So every week we had to bring one new word into the uh, group. And people within the group had to 
explain the meaning of that particular word. So it's it's a great game you can play um, during the long evenings um, at home when uh, this autumn striking. There is so many things that we can do with our words and it is a fantastic game. So I hope that you are going to enjoy playing with words and I would like to invite you to subscribing to my channel and sharing my channel with your friends but most of all I look to see look forward to see you in my next video where I will be giving you further tips so play the game of words and you will really change your emotions thank you for watching bye